All right, for for this assignment, I chose Finding Dory, which is basically about a fish, uh, specifically a regal blue tang named Dory that suffers from short-term memory loss, or uh, specifically answer, anterograde amnesia. And <sighs> mm. uh, for like a little summary of the movie, through the whole movie, she's just trying to find her parents, and that leads to a lot of flashbacks because of her amnesia. Okay, so throughout the movie, you see her do things like leave her um, her parents leave shells out for her so she can find her way back home, and uh, a lot of flashbacks happen, which is which has to do with the whole anterograde amnesia thing, and that'll be discussed more later. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, anterograde amnesia um, is a short-term memory loss uh, thing. Is a short-term memory loss, and uh, basically, it's the it uh, has to do with being able to recall like events before before uh, the actual the incident happened, which made you have become and have uh, amnesia so so this is why she is able to recall things before she had the incident and after she isn't able to remember things like her own like where she is or things she has done before and and that's very common because uh, people that suffer from it uh, repeat everything and many questions and they forget where they are and what they do what they're doing and yeah this um this thing is mainly in uh affects the hippocampus which is uh, like memory because of the hippocampus yeah so so one of the most like known patients was henry Mol mollison which and this is because his hippocampus was removed during brain surgery, which gave him the anterograde amnesia. And this this thing can actually happen from not just like a uh, surgery, but it can happen from a uh, like a incident, which could include like uh, a hit to the head, like a concussion, or things like mm, what else could it, could it, could it cause it. Things like, like a stroke or brain surgery, or drug use even, or alcoholism, which, when but specifically for alcoholism, is just a blackout when someone blacks out from it from a large amount of consumed alcohol. Okay, uh, for the diagnosis, well. They just do CT scans and MRIs to figure out what you what you do, and they ask questions to see where you're at and you're at memory loss to see if you have long term or short term memory loss. And for treatments, there's no treatments for this, so you just well, there's treatments, but there's no cure, so you just have to have family support and keep journals, knowing what you did and what you're doing, and a reminder beeper. Which, for Dory, I would consider her parents leaving the shells out a reminder beeper. Because she, uh, later in the movie, she she remembers that the shells are on her way home. So she starts following the shells and finds her parents. So I, f I think that would be considered a way of how, how, like, they try to keep the movie, which is animated, and to, like, actually follow the correct assumptions of the actual, uh, the actual psychological disorder. So, so basically, to f make it seem like it's it's uh, correct, they just make Dory uh, seem uh, forgetful. So, like they'll ask her a question and tell her to do something, and when she turns around or does something, she completely forgets what she's even doing or what she's standing there for. So she repeats it the process and does it again but slowly uh like 
in antigrade amnesia some people do happen to remember things from their past every once in a while which uh which in the movie it also did because she start she she loses her family because uh she finds nemo and his dad uh and slowly she starts remembering things from her past like where her parents are from and where where they are right now so this helps through the movie and yeah so that was it. Integrated amnesia in Finding Nemo. I mean, Finding Dory. <laughs>